Mr. Speaker, last week I introduced the Safe Home Act, which provides a tax credit for folks to harden their homes against wildfires. Now, right now in California, we have not only uh, experienced devastating, catastrophic wildfires in recent years, but as a result, we are now in the thick of an insurance crisis where uh, folks' rates for fire insurance, insurance uh, have absolutely skyrocketed and people are losing uh, their plans left and right. Insurance companies are pulling out of California. More and more people are being kicked on uh, to what's called the FAIR plan, uh, which uh, is, uh, is not a good option for a lot of folks and uh, imposes enormous costs. And this is having ramifications for homeowners, for businesses, for folks looking uh, to buy a home, for folks looking to sell a home. It's even in one of my counties uh, impeded an affordable housing project from even getting off the ground. And the situation continues to get worse and worse and worse. We've seen State Farm and all states say they're no longer issuing new plans in California. Other insurance companies such as Maristar, Uniturn, and Kemper and Independence have said they're not going to renew uh, policies in 2024 for homeowners. And unfortunately, we have not seen much, if any, meaningful action uh, from the governor or from the legislature in California. So folks really, really need uh, relief. People are having to pay thousands more than they anticipated, and a lot of people simply uh, cannot afford it. So I have uh, proposed a number of, uh, of, of policies uh, over the last few years to try to provide individuals with relief. And what the Safe Home Act does is it at least provides folks with some relief based upon uh, the work that they themselves have done to try to reduce the risk of wildfire. Because that's what's so frustrating to a lot of people is they do everything they possibly can to mitigate, their, to mitigate the risk of fire in their home, to harden their home, to create a fire break but they don't get rewarded for it. The insurance companies don't take that into account, uh, and they still see their, their rates skyrocket uh, just like anyone else. And so what we want to do with this bill is provide some relief to those people, and at the same time, to create an incentive for more people to harden their homes uh, so as to reduce the risk of wildfire. So specifically, uh, the Safe Home Act, which I've introduced, creates a 25% refundable tax credit for wildfire uh, mitigation. It includes a phase-out starting at $200,000, and it drops by 25% and every $25,000 in income after $200,000. And at $300,000 in income, uh, the credit's phased out. There's also an inflation adjustment for any year after 24, 2024, equal to the cost uh, of living adjustment. The credit is only made available for a primary home that a federal natural disaster declaration has been made within the preceding 10-year period with respect to a wildfire fire or is it adjacent to an area that has had a disaster declaration and it would sunset on December 31st, 2032. So it's a modest measure. It's not going to impose enormous costs, but it's going to provide real relief to folks uh, who really need it and who are doing the right thing by trying to reduce the risk to themselves uh, and their neighbors. So uh, I'm hoping that this is a measure that will receive broad bipartisan support, uh, but I recognize that it is not a comprehensive solution to this very serious problem. And so I call upon uh, my colleagues, especially in California, uh, but also other states that are seeing similar issues, uh, to come together to provide a backstop, the needed policies uh, to do whatever we can at the federal level uh, to stop this crisis from continuing to spiral out of control. And I also call upon the state leaders in California uh, to do their part as well. And finally, we need to recognize ultimately that the way to truly get the insurance crisis under control is to stop having catastrophic wildfires in California uh, on a regular basis, which of course come with uh, loss of life, loss of property, destruction of communities, as well as not to mention uh, a tremendous amount uh, of environmental harm. Uh, we have seen effective forest management practices work, and we have seen ineffective forest mismanagement practices lead to tragedy. I'll give you just uh, an example from one fire in California, which uh, leveled the town of Grizzly Flats in my district uh, and spread far elsewhere and almost uh, consumed uh, the uh, town, the city of South Lake Tahoe. Uh, this is the Calder Fire in El Dorado County. 
the federal government had been had supposed was supposed to have done uh, mitigation work, a mitigation project uh, that could well have stopped the Calder fire uh, from ever sp ever spreading. But years and years and years went by, and the project never got done. And so the fire started. It leveled Grizzly Flats. It put many, many people out of the home. By the way, the Biden administration has still not uh, delivered the individual assistance that was promised to the residents of Grizzly Flats. But then as the fire spread and it made its way uh, towards Tahoe, you might remember these surreal scenes of, of, ski, uh, of ski slopes that are just uh, aflame. But it didn't end up uh, uh, destroying uh, or even uh, making a dent in the town of the city of South Tahoe uh, because of the absolute heroism of the firefighters there and the first responders but also because there had been mitigation work done in the Christmas Valley, thanks to a policy change that had fairly recently been made uh, in this Congress, which provide a, provided a categorical exclusion uh, from uh, environmental reviews for projects in the Tahoe area. If it were not for that policy, that work uh, likely would not have been done, and the fire could have been that much more devastating. So I am sponsoring legislation that would build on that success story and would try to, uh, and would, it would have a policy change where you could have the same expedited process for doing fire mitigation work uh, throughout the national forest system. When you go and talk to folks in the Forest Service and the other groups and stakeholders uh, and uh, folks in government that are working to mitigate the risk of wildfire, they will all tell you this would make an enormous difference. So in order to get the fire insurance crisis under control, uh, it is above all necessary that we do everything we possibly can to stop these tragedies from continuing to occur uh, in California. I'm sponsoring a number of measures to do that, but we have to act with urgency uh, to stop it because we, the, the risks uh, will continue until we do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.